Peace family, this is Kyle Dixon Hill for another post. Uh, I know I haven't done one in about a week or so, uh, but I definitely wanted to hit y'all with some jewels. And I definitely wanted to be able to show you all where I'm at. So, if you see where I'm at, right, maybe look like a regular house. But actually, I'm in Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm at the birthplace of Muhammad Ali, the great champion boxer. So, Muhammad Ali is one of my idols. One of my, not necessarily idols, but he's definitely a man, a humanitarian that I look up to. He's in my top ten of people that I kind of show to show leadership and show what it means to be a, a, a revolutionary, to be a change agent, not just for your community but for the whole world. And Ali's excellence uh, has been profound across the entire world, and it's something that I always admire. Uh, but to be honest with you, it's something that I never really began to study till I got older, and recognizing what he really did, not only just for Black folk, but then for the world was just amazing and you can't you can't it's almost unquantifiable what he did for our for our country and for black people so he's one of my top heroes outside of my father and my brother people that i really look up to so i'm here in louisville kentucky and i went to stop by the old neighborhood that muhammad ali grew up in this is sacred ground right here right you see the house you know what he started at was simple beginnings right that house is not big at all but from that house and from that from from that family grew up to be this global worldwide figure and because of that you know what he exemplified y'all the greatness right he said i am the greatest right he spoke it before he even became it right when he was a young man boxing here in louisville kentucky winning the golden gloves going into the 1960 olympics in rome italy and then winning that and then going professional being sunny listed right this man was 21 years old 21 years old right so he was already living his purpose, living his dream. And in the fact of him living his dream, he ended up making a difference, and not only for people myself years to come, but for the people that haven't even been born yet. Ali's legacy will live on forever. And that's just, a, that's just a, a, a reason and an example for all of us to live by. He wasn't perfect. He wasn't somebody that didn't have flaws. But he worked so hard at his craft and he used his craft to make change in the world. He didn't. He wasn't just a boxer. Boxing is what gave him his notoriety, or what gave him his legendary status. Is just him being a humanitarian, him being a philanthropist, him being an activist, him fighting for black people and fighting for the underdog and people who didn't have a voice to say. So I want to just do this post and just remind us: live your purpose, find out what that is, and live it to to to, to its nth degree. To like you can't do it anymore. Find out what it is that you feel and be that person be that change that people want to see. And just to give you a few uh, Ali quotes, one that stuck with me, he said that a crow, a, a rooster only crows when it's sunlight. If it's in the dark, you'll never crow. He said, I have seen the sunlight, so I, so I crow, All right? So another quote from him is, flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee, rumble, young man rumble. So take that to heart, family, and live your dreams and live your purpose. Peace.